um, let's help you out with that planimetric. So it's not an isometric, but planimetric drawing. Um, pretty simple to do. Um, um, look, layers can be really useful when you're in um, Illustrator, but sometimes I find layers are just better for Photoshop. Another simple way that you can do this is if we just have a look at what I've got on the screen here. So I'm going to pretend, see, do you like my cat fur that I've found? I want to pretend that I really want my cat fur to go behind, okay? Um, I'm presuming that this is what your problem is, is that you can't get your background image to go behind. So no layers are opened, but what I'm going to do now is select it, object, and then we're going to go to arrange. Then you can send them back one at a time because perhaps you might want this cat fur to appear between layers or simply straight to the back. So I'll do that again, select, object, and then we're going to go to arrange and let's just go send backward um, and actually I'll do it again object transform send backward so you're probably looking at this one here and it's not really working but hopefully it's actually going behind layer by layer I'm just using my keyboard shortcuts now actually let's just try it this way object range and center back all right so hopefully that's helped you out